Hello everyone. As you know, we have live call and post call solutions to integrate our AI and Gen AI tools to your contact center. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the capabilities of the post call analytics integration with our BI tool QuickSight, taking advantage of the benefits of Amazon Q, that is our Gen AI assistance. Okay, let's see in action. Once we have all the call information stored with all the trends and some useful information about the transcribed details, sentiments, and another kind of useful information, we can send it all to QuickSight for a centralized view that can be consumed by your business analysts or other business analysts. In QuickSight, we can see some useful information collected in different tabs. For example, in this web, in this summary tab, you could see the total calls, what is the average customer sentiment, the average agent sentiment, and another useful information. But also there are another uh, different tab. Um, there are some tabs more focused in specifically in the sentiment of the calls. For example, based on, on the highest number of call per agent, what is the call records by agent? You could specify categories, custom entities, or a very useful tab that is issues, action, and outcomes. This information in itself is very valuable, but how generative AI can help us to generate reports for example, or make executive summaries because those information is very useful, but what else if we could specify a data storytelling to, to share with, let's say your CIO, for example? Well, there are new ways for authors to get valuable from natural language query. Here are some examples. You could click on the Amazon Q button, our um, gen generative AI tool assistant, or in the build button on QuickSight about at the right, at the right, and Amazon Q is going to show you some option. For example, executive summary. Executive summary is going to present an executive summary based on the selected tab. In this case, the issues, action, and outcomes tab. You could see the, the summary based on this tab, but also you could select another summary um, tab in this case and generate a new executive summary. In the background, Amazon Q leverage large language model to generate executive summaries of this dashboard. And also you could generate a data history. Okay, Amazon Q generates con contextual recommendation and suggestion, combining your prone with selected visuals to provide relevant details that are tailored to your data history. Let's make an example. Let's say um, I'm the manager of contact center. I, I would like to generate a report about trends and how to improve my contact center. This um, report is going to be sent to my CIO. Okay, this is the, the, the content Okay, the, 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 the content that I would like that Amazon Q generates for me based on, on, the, on the information collected in QuizSite and I'm going to add the visuals that is going to support that report. In this case, I would like to add, for example, um, let's say mm, 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 well, the sentiment, okay? What is the distribution of customer sentiment? What was the impact? Of, of agent um, I'm going to add the highest number of call per agents what as the what 
was the, the highest customer sentiment, the lowest card customer sentiment, and another useful uh, information. Let's say, okay, this is the call records, where, and maybe it's useful to, to select what was the issue and what was the, the outcomes. Okay, let's click on rebuild. And now Amazon Q is, um, is generating the, the data history that I need in this case. As you can see at the left of the button, there are some visuals that is going, that are going to, to support my report. We could specify more visuals or remove someone. And, um, and this is the report that Amazon Q generates for me okay we could modify the story style i'm going to s specify let's say a modern theme for the data report i'm going to modify who is the the, the uh, who is the owner of the report and some useful information okay for example um you could modify Move or move up or down some blocks or delete, but also you could um, you could use again Amazon Q for example for the distribution of cards of customer sentiment. Amazon Q generates this summary, but let's say I would like to 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 generate um, this summary based on bullet points, okay. Okay, I'm going to specify the report. I'm going to call Amazon Q. Let's wait a few minutes. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to change to the main bullet point. Okay, reviewing the, the accuracy of, of the narrative that Amazon Q generates for me, I'm going to keep it. And this is going to be modified in the report. After that, I'm going to preview the data history report. to check that all is correct to share with my CIO. Okay, those are the bullet points. Okay, all looks fine. I'm going to share with my CIO. Publish. So um, this is all. Overall, Amazon Q on QuickSight empowers you to create compelling executive summaries and data histories for your post-call analytics, leveraging natural language queries, automated insights, and interactive visualization. This can lead to better decision making, improve customer experience, and more effective communication of your contact center's performance and opportunity. By creating these types of data histories using Amazon QuickSight visuals and also leveraging the power of Amazon Q's natural language querying, you can uncover valuable insights from your call recordings and also from your post-call analytics data. Thank you.